One other thing I need to introduce. Remember how I said that, oh, wait, hold on. Potential energy was how much potential you gain from moving between one point to another. However, there are certain points in which there is no gain in potential. Those are called equipotential surfaces. Equipotential surfaces are those surfaces on which if you move from point A to point B, you do not gain any energy or you don't lose any energy, okay? So what are they given as? They are actually given as concentric circles around your fields. Suppose there was a point here, I will call it point A, and point B, I will call it point B. And then I have another point, say C, and another point D here. How much potential is gained when I move from point A to B? How much work do I need to do? How much potential is gained? No work, right? There's no change in potential. So you, sorry, you is zero. How much potential is gained or lost when I move from point A to D? Some number, depends. But what about when I move from point D to C? Does that make sense? So the surfaces on which there is no gain or loss in potential are called equipotential surfaces. So the way to think about it is, okay, here's my pen. I put it down here. What's its potential energy with respect to the ground? Like MGH? What if I move it here? What's the, what's the um, potential energy? Same MGH? What's the change in potential energy for me being moving it from here to here? Zero. So can I call this surface an equipotential surface in terms of gravitational potential? And that's what equipotential surfaces mean when we're talking about electric fields as well. So I would like us to write this very simple hint. to remember. Okay, work done. On an equipotential surface, when you're on the equipotential surface, your work done will be zero which implies your U, the delta U will be zero. Now, again, remember the potential may not be zero, but the change in potential will be zero. Got it? So the change in V will be zero. <coughs> and in between the potential surfaces, equipotential surfaces, Will work done be not equal to zero? Yes, that's a double negative. So you have to do work, right? Which basically means is delta 
U will be given as Q VB minus VA. However, you define Bs and As. Oh, I define my V, B and A as the same potential. So I should do um, A to C. I'll do A to C, A and C to keep it consistent. Woohoo! So we have just covered three sections. 